In these problems, we're working on calculating the surface area of some triangular prisms and some other types of polyhedra. So let's take a look at this. In a triangular prism, you're going to have this front surface. You're going to have the surface that's touching the tabletop, if this is sitting on a table, and that big surface behind. So that's three sides. And then you're going to have the two ends that are triangles. So you're going to have three rectangles and two triangles. And want to make sure you account for all those sides. You'll figure out the areas of each of those, and you'll add them all together. I'm going to start with the triangle. The formula for the area of a triangle is 1 half the base times the height. We've got a right triangle here, so this side right here is actually the height. So that's going to equal 1 half times 12 times 9, which equals 54. Now that's one triangle, and we've got two of them. So our first chunk here is going to be 2 times 54, and we're going to add the other sides to it. The area of this surface right here, well, it is 25 meters long, but how wide is it? Well, it's the hypotenuse of this triangle wide, and that's not given to us. But since we're good with the Pythagorean theorem, we know how to figure that out. It's 9 squared plus 12 squared equals c squared. So that's 81 plus 144 equals c squared. That's 225 equals c squared. You take the square root of both sides, and you get c equals 15. All right. So that surface is 25 by 15. So put that one in there. Now we've got two more um, sides. That Let's go with the one that's on the bottom. That is 25 long. and 12 wide. So that's 25 by 12. And then finally this back edge here, it's also 25 long and it's 9 wide. Then we just have to do a little bit of calculating and add up all of this stuff. So 54 times 2, it's 108. 15 times 25 is 375. 25 times 12 is 300, and 25 times 9 is 225. Add all that together, we get 1,008, and this is meters squared. So that's the surface area of a triangular prism. Let's work on this next one. It says the base of a prism is a regular hexagon. Okay, so we've got a six-sided regular figure here that measures four centimeters on each side, and the prism has a height of 23 centimeters. So imagine all these sides going up here and connected by another hexagon at the top. I don't think I drew this terribly accurately, but you get the basic idea. And we want to find the total surface area. What we're going to have here is six of these long flat sides around. And they're going to be four by how tall this is, which is 23. So we're going to have six of the four by 23 plus two of the hexagons. Well, what's the area of that hexagon? You may remember that the area of a hexagon is a regular hexagon or any regular polygon is going to be one half the apothem times uh, the perimeter. So the perimeter is easy enough. That's six times four. One half the apothem times twenty-four. But what is the apothem here? Well, that's the uh, distance from the center of an inscribed circle down to the uh, perpendicular down to the side here. And the way we can do this is by drawing the triangles. Remember, a regular hexagon is made up of six equilateral triangles. So I'm going to pull this triangle out here so we can look at it a little more closely. This side is four. When we drop this apothem down here, we actually split this into two even pieces. And we've got two 60, 30, 90 triangles. And uh, remember, the sides are in the ratio of one, two, square to three. So this side right here is going to be 2 times the square root of 3, and that is our apothem. Now, if you're not sure how I got the 2 times the square root of 3, you can use the Pythagorean theorem here. Just plug in 2 squared plus b squared equals 4 squared. You'll find out this is 2 times the square root of 3. 
All right, let's plug this into our area formula. So 1 half times 2, oops, times the square root of 3 times 24. That's going to equal 24 times the square root of 3. Now that's the area of one of these hexagons. Well, we've got one on the bottom and one on the top. So we multiply that by 2, we get, well, let's do it this way, 2 times 24 times the square root of 3. And then we have a little bit of calculating to do. So our sides add up to 552. And our top and our base add up to 83.14, let's say, for a grand total of 635.14. And this was centimeters squared. So that's a little bit of work with the surface area of some uh, triangular prisms and hexagonal prisms. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus, an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you'd like to check us out, you can find us on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.